everybody, Emma here from the Golden Potato, and welcome to another awesome minigame. Wait, this isn't a minigame. Or a mod review either. What could this be? <laughs> this is the return of Minecraft for Dummies. Who remembers that series? Probably not many of you. <laughs> I'm looking at you, <laughs> but that's right. We are coming back to this very, very old set of videos. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I think I made two videos back then about um basically the essentials you needed to know as a minecraft player such as surviving the first night and potions and they were made long before i even got the brand new computer or the fancy new equipment so the the actual quality of the video itself was very very low but i've decided to bring it back because i've had one major request from people they have asked me emma how do you install a mod dun 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 so we're going to be walking through how to install a mod from start to finish okay and now the way that the mod loader system works which is forge and that's going to help you run all of your modifications to your game no matter uh, what version i use you can use any version you use so i could i'm gonna actually be using 1.7.10 forge you might be using a more modern uh version of forge and all that means is uh older version of Forge can only run older mods that were created for older versions of Minecraft. So I'm going to be running a Forge for a fairly recent Minecraft, but not the most current one. But it's almost identical. In fact, it is identical minus the number part in terms of the version uh, if you were installing a more recent one. So the first thing you want to do when you're installing a mod is install Forge itself, which is going to run the mods for you. So the first thing you want to do is open up your browser and you want to type minecraft forge and you want to click enter and do a search and you will come across this right here which is files.minecraftforge.net i prefer minecraftforge.net but essentially it takes you to the same place which is files.minecraftforge.net but essentially you'll get to this page and this is the one you have to go to this is where you download your forge very very exciting you're going to click on the downloads button right here and you're going to go over here to where it says download latest or download recommended. Now download recommended is probably going to run the best, but the latest might also run the most current mods. Now you can select which versions you want to play Minecraft for. You can hover over 1.8 and click on the 1.8 tab. Or if I want to play 1.7, I can click down here and click on 1.7.10. So whatever version of Minecraft you want to run. But keep in mind that your Forge version has to be identical to your mod version. Now some mods are compatible with multiple Forges, but Forge is only compatible with certain types of mods. So for example, a 1.8 mod can only be used with 1.8 mods, whereas a 1.7.10 mod is only compatible with 1.7.10 mods. But once you've selected the tab and clicked on it, you can now download the recommended or the latest. And whichever one, it doesn't matter. I, I mean, obviously, I recommend the recommended download. You're going to click down here on the installer button, which has like a little cardboard box. You're going to click on that once. And it's going to take you to sort of an ad fly type thing where you have to watch an ad and then skip the button. And that's just so that um, they make a little bit of money with every download. But once you get here, you're going to click skip. And after you skip it, you will get a download. Now, in a Mac, you might get a download notification over here in the top right. Or on the PC like this, you might want to keep the file and then have the file down here on your bottom. But, no matter what, you want to be able to open it. So, on my PC, in order to open it, I'm going to right-click it and click Show in Folder. And then once I've showed it in my folder, I'm going to click it once, left-click it, and drag it and then release it when I'm hovered over the desktop file. Or I could just click on it and drag it right outside my window to the desktop to move it. But once I've moved it to the desktop, I have easy access to it. So, let's say I've lost my file and I can't find it. We go back to downloads and it should be still be highlighted. So we're going to move that to the desktop. Or you could do search downloads and type in Forge. And all of your Forge stuff with Forge in the Word will pop up. So close your file browser, and you have this right here. This is your Forge installer. You have not yet installed Forge. You have merely downloaded the actual installer. And Forge is the thing that's going to run your mods, so it's very important that you have it installed. What you want to do is you want to double-click on it. Just, just 
two, two times, and you'll get this pop-up, which is the installer. You want to make sure that it's installing on the client side. That means that it's for single player and not multiplayer. And you don't want to touch where this saves to. This is going to save to your C drive, to your user's file, to your profile, my profile is Frank Lover, to your app data for um, Macs that might be applications or library, to the roaming, which might be applications on your Mac, to your Minecraft folder. And you want to click OK, and you'll get this little loading bar that says it's downloading. And then this will pop up, successfully installed. So you can click OK, and you can just leave that to chill on your desktop or put it away in a folder. I wouldn't recommend deleting it in case you ever needed to install it again, but I'm just going to leave it here for now. Next thing you want to do is open up your Minecraft. Now, I've already had uh, my Forge installed, and I think this is actually uh, Forge 1.8, but I have had my Forge installed. What you want to do when you want to create a profile to run a Forge is you want to go down here where it says Profile. And you want to click New Profile. And you can name this profile name whatever you want. It might say Copy of, and then whatever your username is, if this is your first time making a new profile. You want to change that. And you can name it whenever you want. You can name it Bob, or you can name it Doodle, or you can name it this, whatever that is. But I highly recommend naming it exactly what it is. And let's take the caps lock caps let lock, lock my tongue can't speak caps lock off and name it forge and then whatever version of forge you're installing so i want to play forge 1.7.10 and that's exactly what i downloaded so once i do that i want to go down here and make sure that i'm using the version i want to use so you might get these when you scroll down you might get the release versions of all the vanilla minecrafts these won't run forge but when you scroll down You'll get these, and they'll say release 1.7.10 or release 1.7.2 if that's the one you've downloaded that says Forge. Now, this is really not that hard to spot if you haven't downloaded that many Forges, but uh, there should only be one at the bottom. I've downloaded a lot of Forges, so you can see I have a lot, but you want to click on that, or whatever Forge you want to install that you have installed that you want to run, and then you click Save Profile and it should take me to the bottom of my of my profile list but if i go here you can see i've saved lots of different profiles for different versions of um, ones with optifine and ones with forge so i'm going to go to forge 1.7.10 the newest version is not the one we downloaded we download this one which is the recommended version so we're going to click play and it should launch minecraft now if it's crashing which might happen there are a few things one, you might not have it installed properly. Uh, two, you might not have it um, properly in your... Oh, God, the music. Let's turn that down quickly. <laughs> you might not have it uh, installed client-side. You might not have... You might have typed in an error, and it might not be in your roaming Minecraft folder. But if there are any problems, leave them in the comment section, and I will help you diagnose the problem. But anyway... What will happen is you'll get something here, fancy. It'll say Minecraft Forge and then your version installed. But it'll also say four mods loaded. Well, I lied. It'll say three mods loaded. I already have a mod installed that happened to be from the previous mod review, but you should have three mods installed. And you should have this extra button added to your um, main menu screen called Mods. Now, when you click on it, you'll be given three mods. Ignore the Vampirism mod. I had that in for a mod review so just ignore that you should have three default mods installed the coder pack the forge mod loader and minecraft forge you cannot delete any of these these are absolutely important that they stay within your minecraft vampirism mod doesn't have to stay i added that one in myself and that's a mod that's actually running in my minecraft right now but you have to run a version of forge you're using at least once before you install a mod with it very very important so we can quit the game now that we've run forge at least once and now we can decide what mod we want to install and i think i want to download the lucky blocks mod but the question is where do i get this place to install these magical mods now i recommend a few places there's planet minecraft which contains a lot of mods that people put up themselves and a lot of popular mods as well and they contain forms where you can ask the questions etc so that's Planet Minecraft. But if I type in Minecraft mod, I'll also get a lot of places to download myself. Oh, here we go. Minecraft, Planet Minecraft's finally loading. There's a whole uh, subsection for mods right here. And I can download all the mods here. I can download the most popular mods. The most popular one here 
this free reload guns mod, but there's also the kitchen mod, and ore spawn is here, obviously, and you can watch all of the reviews in the videos as well, and explore some mods that people, just, uh, not mod creators, but just people who might have made their first mod might have shared, and actually, I am planning on sharing the mod I'm working on on Planet Minecraft when I'm finished with that. So, my browser seems to be running a bit slowly, so we'll just type in Minecraft mod again, and as you can see, a uh, few things pop up for how to download mods. Curse.com has a great list of mods that you can download as well. You have Not Enough Items, and you have uh, Tinker's Construct mod, and you have What Am I Looking At, which is one of my favorite useful ones. But essentially, if you find a YouTube video that you like that showcases a mod, they might include a link to download it. Or if you just want to search a mod, like let's say I'm looking for the Lucky Blocks mod, I just type in Lucky Blocks mod download. I'll be taken to any one of these. Don't use one that says Skydaz. Skydaz is a different mod loader. We are using a mod loader for Forge. The files we will be using to work with Forge are not necessarily compatible with the Skydaz mod loader. But I'm going to click on the top one, and this is, looks like the official page, or one of the official pages for the Lucky Block mod. So, we can scroll down, it'll contain the forum with all the items and such. And we should be able to find the download right here. Aha! So a lot of times you have to scroll through the form and dig through it to find where you have to download it. Um, I'll show you a different example. If we look at one on Planet Minecraft where it might be hidden. And if we go to Planet Minecraft, we can type in Lucky Blocks. It might not be on Planet Planet uh, Minecraft, or but it might. So if we go to Most Popular, type in Lucky Blocks. It's telling me to slow down. I'm going too fast for it. Um... But you can type in Lucky Blocks and also go to Mods. Uh, let's say we have the Lucky Block mod right here. This is the Lucky Block mod. You'll have the download button right here. But I'm going to go back to the other one because that looked like the actual Lucky Block download. You know, and the textures and everything look like Lucky Blocks. So let's just do a, a lot of backspacing here. And it looks like I've done too much backspacing. So let's go back, type in Lucky Block because that's the mod I want to want to download. And it might take a while to find the official form for a mod you might want to download, but just be careful about downloading it in any unreliable places. We're going to scroll down and click on the download button, and that should take us to the Lucky Block. It looks like they might have changed the texture of the Lucky Blocks, actually. So, one block awaits, and we must find where to download it, and I have not done this before. But at the bottom, we have download, and it also gives you a download to Minecraft Forge, if you haven't downloaded it yet, and even a download for Minecraft itself. But at the bottom, we have the download button, so we're going to click download, and then you can download for any version you want. So this one right here is for 1.7, and when they say that, that means for any version of 1.7. Now, if you were playing Minecraft 1.8, you might want to download this one. But we're going to download this one because that's the one I'm running. And you'll get a little please wait here that'll make you wait, and probably they're making some money off of it. And then up here, we can click the download button. And we'll get the same thing that happened with Forge. We want to keep it, we want to show it in our folder, and once we find it in our folder, we want to drag it onto our desktop. And once it's on our desktop, we want to minimize it just to be sure. And it's not on our desktop. So if you want to make sure it's on your desktop, we can uh, search the downloads for anything named Lucky Block, find it, and then drag it manually. And as you can see, I've downloaded a lot of different Lucky Block mods, but this is the one I downloaded because it is 1.7.10.jar, and that's the version we wanted. Now, don't double-click this like Forge. You don't want to open it. Also keep in mind that your mod might be a .zip file. It, they will tell you on the website whether to unzip it or not. And when I say unzip, I mean double-click it. Because some mods, if you double-click, they might have multiple packages inside. The mod itself, and maybe some instructions for downloading. And you would just want to take out of that zipped-up file just the mod, not the instructions, and do with it what I'm going to do with this one. So you either get a .jar or a .zip. Those are the two compatible files that are used with Forge. Don't use a different one. It might work with Skydas. It might work if you want to crash your game, but... Just stick with the two I have said. Now, once you have your mod, you want to do what I do. You either create a Minecraft shortcut and drag it into your mods folder right here. I'm in my Minecraft, and I have my mods folder. And actually, I have my vampire mod out here, which I'm just going to drag into my uninstalled mods folder, which I've created on my own as well, just to keep organized. But chances are, you probably don't have a Minecraft shortcut. So we are going to find the Minecraft folder. Open up your file, uh, whatever this is called your PC. Then, in this bar right here, or go to right here, wherever this bar is, I want you to click on it. 
so that it's highlighted and so that you can type whatever you want into it. And I want you to type percent app with two P's data percent. That's percent the symbol. You know, you do shift five and then A P P D A T A and then shift five again for percent and click enter. And you'll get all of these crazy crazy things but as you can see we're in the roaming file which is where forge was so we're coming very close to the minecraft file we have to scroll down through what we've downloaded and we'll come across minecraft and it is somewhere and you have to find it hmm, where could it be it's right there it's dot minecraft and once you open this we will be in the same place that i was when i opened my minecraft shortcut as you can see we have in here our assets which are our textures we have our custom npcs from a different mod we have our logs of all the crashes and histories we have resource packs we have screenshots we have our world saves and maps and we even have all of our forge lo launchers that have been installed but we are looking at this right here this mods folder you could do two things you could open it and drag the mod in like that or you could go back and just hover over the mods and once it's highlighted drag it in there now so that this mod that you've installed is in your minecraft folder then you can exit out or if you want to create a shortcut uh we can talk about that later but essentially you'd click on dot minecraft you might um i actually forgot how to do it, <laughs> but that's not what this episode is for right so now my lucky blocks is in my mods folder in my minecraft and it's hooked up with the forge profile i am running so technically this should work so i'm gonna open a minecraft and we will see what happens when i open up minecraft we want to make sure that we are running the profile for the proper forge and look that forge is matching the version of my mod i am running a 1.7.10 forge and i am running a mod that is compatible with any version of forge that is 1.7 now i want to click play and this is the moment of truth if your game crashes your mod maybe not have maybe may have not been unzipped properly but now this is the moment of truth Will there be four mods installed? Yes, there will be. I took up the vampire mod, so when I go into mods here, the vampire mod should be replaced with the lucky block mod. And now, to test your mod, create a new world, name whatever you want, play with whatever you want. You want to create the new world, and you want to see if your mod is installed. Now, I installed the lucky blocks mod, so I'm looking for lucky blocks in this. It might take a little bit longer to load your world, since Forge might be using the mod for the first time, and once we are in this world... We are going to go, and we are going to type in lucky, and there it is. There is the beautiful lucky block. There it is. Huzzah. So that is how you install a mod. If you do have any questions, very important, if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I am here for you to ask me questions, and if you do have any um, worries about something you want to learn about, about Minecraft, whether it's something in-game or outside of game, uh, let me know, and I might consider making it a part of the revival of the Minecraft for Dummies series. So, this is here to help you, and educate you, and teach you all those good things, but hopefully you've learned how to install a mod for Forge today. If you do have any specific questions, once again, I am here. But anyway, I would like to thank you so much for watching. If you happen to enjoy this video, then please leave a big fat thumbs up. And also, if you are new to my channel, then please consider subscribing. Do the golden potato today for frequent Minecraft videos. If you do uh, like this, please leave a big fat thumbs up. I'm not sure if I already said that or not. I don't know. I'm filming this pretty late at night, but it's all worth it. So thank you so much. This has been Emma from the golden potato, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye! <laughs>